Hi everybody, and uh, what's in today's video is a little trip around the cupboards on the outside of Jasmine Meyer. Well, there are eight little uh, cubby holes and doors and little flaps uh, around the outside of Jasmine Meyer. Well, actually, that's not true. There's nine. One of them is the diesel input, so um, <laughs> that's pretty uninteresting. So, what I want to do is just show you, uh, starting from the front on the passenger side, so that's the near side, um, coming down uh, the side there. Show you what we've what we've got on the outside, where things are, and how we deal with that, and then show you down the other side which is currently covered up by the um, drive away awning uh, and just show you what we've got down that side. So here we are at the uh, first cupboard and the first thing you probably might notice is this strap really rattling about in the wind. It is so very windy today. Uh, the second thing you might notice is that Jasmine needs a bit of a wash, but um, diesel goes into this section here, just out of sight there. Um, I won't bother to show you the, the diesel cap, um, but what we've got here is all these cupboards uh, lock. So turning the key, sort of a, a full turn, uh, and then back. I always do that, that was advised by the dealer to unlock it so that it pops out and then just lock it straight back so you can take the key out. This, this then turns anti-clockwise to unlatch it and you'll see there's a, there's a bit here that clips into uh, a little holder at the top. That comes up and locks into place in there so that it doesn't fall down. But what's inside this compartment. So the first thing you notice is that it's got a little storage compartment with uh, this section here actually pulls out from the inside underneath the sofa and there's this um, other little table here. I don't know quite why that is there. Um, I think it's to, to pop things under um, and give you a bit more sort of floor level storage into the lounge area. So that's a, a little storage cupboard that we've managed to keep completely clear at the moment. Across the other side we've got um, all of the electrical equipment. So we've got these are the 12 volt leisure batteries, one, two. Um, we had an extra one put in and also what, what the, the dealer has left in here is all of the um, additional sort of gas, gas inlet fittings. Um, he suggested we just leave them there because we won't need them much. But what we have here is um, all of the instructions on this lot are in German. So if you, if you can read German, you're perfectly fine. If not, you need the sort of English translation, which is in the uh, manual for the, for the motorhome. But there are some little clues. Obviously, these things down here are fuses and they're marked on top with the ampage. So we've got a 50, a 50 amp fuse there, which is the main one. Not sure what this block is. Um, and then we've got some other fuses here, two amp, 10 amp, and two amp. So we've got two two amps, one 10 amp, and then another two amp there. But we've also got other um, things here. Now, one, one of them, uh, this 15 amp fuse at the end, is marked solar. So I think that's probably the fuse for the solar panel, um, and all of the all of the um, electrics are controlled from this. And I think this is, uh, yeah, 
I'm not quite sure what uh, it, it says it's an electroblock EBL30 um, so I'm assuming and it says 230 volt uh, so I'm assuming that just pushes out the 230 volt um, across to the, the sort of plugs and stuff like that. Also up here, um, so just above the electro block, we've got this um, solar uh, ladder regular, and I think that is the solar regulator. So. Um, yeah, so there's starter battery, so it's it's charging up the starter battery and it's charging up the two other batteries as well. Um, uh, yeah, it's just got those cables coming down and running just into the back of the into the back of the system there. That, you know, there's sort of a rat's nest of wires. They're all sort of nicely tied up and grouped. So um, electricians would probably get that sorted out and know exactly what uh, what they are. But um, you know, that's what's in this first cupboard. So it's all the batteries, the electric uh, control systems, and the and up above there, the solar regulator because we have that solar panel on the roof so um, oh, I just noticed that there's a <laughs> there's a little tube there's a little tube down here that goes out to the yeah it goes out to the outside um, I assume there's another one there yeah so there's another one on the other battery there and these just go out so there um, I guess if they uh, heat up they might sort of um, emit some sort of uh, fumes or, or whatever and that's the outlet for the for that sort of fumage but um, yeah so that's that's that uh, that's what's in that cupboard nice to know that we've got that little bit of storage for for quick things that we might want to get at. Um, you know maybe maybe I'll carry a little toolbox in there um, and uh, you know a few bits and pieces that we might need while we're on the road.